You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for our Black and White Sports. My goodness. Mr. Matrix sent me this this morning and said, You want to take a run at this? Now, there was a reason for it, because Mr. Matrix knows that when I did watch the NBA, the Boston Celtics were my lifelong team. Wow. I saw this and was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take a run at that no good some bitch. Sure will, this morning. Why not? Let's roll. Now, we knew going into the shop that LeBron was going to give us something ignorant out of his mouth. And he did not disappoint, like with everything, much in the same way that Joy Reid and Jamel Hill have made a living off fucking race and hating white people. LeBron James has done it again. Now, once again, LeBron James wants to lead you to believe that white people everywhere are racist and that he and all black people are being oppressed when he himself is a billionaire. You know, wow. Wow. The ignorance with this guy is unbelievable. Uh, so, and the fact that none of his people will step out and say, hey, you might not want to say this. You know, even if you believe it, don't come out and say it. Why? Because you sound dumb as F. That's why. You sound dumb as F. So, he wants you to believe that Boston Celtics fans are racist as F. And, of course, as with the way he's treated everything involving his business relationship in China... I mean, he's a hypocrite on a whole nother level. But let's take a look at this. Unbelievable. Outkick. Daily Wire be involved on this. LeBron James, LeBron James describes Boston fans as racist as F. LeBron James can't stop putting his foot in his mouth. The NBA star recently implied that Brittany Griner should think twice about wanting to return to the U.S. from Russia. This is a bewildering remark that led out kicks Dan Dockage to describe him as America's dumbest smart guy. Well, enter last night. During the most recent episode of HBO show, The Shop, LeBron was asked why he hates Boston fans so much. He did not pull any punches because a racist is F. James responded, they will say anything and it's fine. It's my life. F, I've been dealing with this my whole life. I don't mind it. I hear it. If I hear somebody close by, I check them real quick and then move on to the game. They're going to say whatever the F they want to say. Calling NBA fans racist as F is not a good look. It won't matter because Adam Silver has absolutely no balls to suspend this guy. No matter where they're from, Boston fans are in particular, are notoriously difficult to deal with. Good. That makes them a good fan base. That makes them a good fan base. The NBA Finals famously featured a heated battle between the Celtic supporters and Draymond Green. Now, and uh, I don't know who wrote this. Ian Miller. Okay. Ian points something out here. That said, it's ridiculous in 2022 to claim that fans are openly heckling one of the famous athletes in the world with racist slurs, and no team employees or security seem to notice or care. If fans were loudly making racist comments, there would be an obvious ejection taking place each and every game. Well, not only that, but other fans actually wouldn't want to hear it. So they would turn the sons of bitches in, but you don't see those ejections now, do you? Interesting. I also want to point something out here because it makes me wonder if LeBron James has actually met and or knows what a racist is because LeBron James seems to think that racist, number one, are going to watch the NBA period and number two, are going to pay $1,500 a pop for finals tickets to watch a team that is made up of predominantly black men. LeBron, you don't even know what a racist is. It's pretty obvious. I, I mean, your ignorance is on a different level. It's on a different level. You have done more damage to this National Basketball Association 
than any other player has done to any sports league ever. And it's because of your ignorance. Now, let me present to you LeBron James's hypocrisy. Daily Wire. 2021, both Maverick Carter and James invested in the Fenway Sports Group, which owns the Red Sox, Fenway Park, Liverpool Football Club, and Nesson, the New England Sports Network. Well, first of all, it's great to be with such a great group with SFG. James told the press after the deal announced, they've done so many great things over the years, and just that collective group of people, they're just amazing to be partners with. I think for me and my partner Maverick to be the first two black men, of course you made this about race, to be part of that ownership group in the history of that franchise, I think it's pretty damn cool. Now, let us not forget, let us not forget that I believe it was either on this show or it was on some other talk show that LeBron blatantly admitted that he grew up hating white people. Well, isn't that... Isn't that the whole entire uh, foundation of racism? Is hating people based on their skin color? By the way, you made a billion dollars off the backs of, I'm sure, some white fans. But you're okay with that. You're okay with slave labor over in China. You're good with that. Some might call that racist. Profiting off of people that are perceived as lesser than? Oh, wow. That is racism. Isn't it? Due to different ethnicities? Odd. He doesn't seem to understand this. But I have a feeling he actually does. Uh, it's just his hypocrisy at work. And once again, he's hoping in this day and time nobody's going to notice his bullshit? You've got to be kidding me, right? I grew up a lifelong Celtics fan. LeBron James has done more damage to any league than any other person. He's run people like me out of the league. He's run a lot of fans out of the league. How do we know? Look at the NBA ratings over the last 24 to 30 months. They've plummeted. In correlation directly with that crying bitch down in the bottom of my screen running his mouth. And the fact that they got a Curdall commissioner that will do nothing to shut this guy up. Once again, David Stern did not care who you were or what player you was, he would suspend your ass if you made comments like this. Why? Because it would damage the logo. It would damage the logo, damage the league, and he'd send you a message. So, the most racist fans in sports, and of course you went straight to race, is in the same city that you have in fact invested in? That seems rather odd, I feel. And probably not a great look if I'm the Fenway Sports Group right now. I'm like, oh, good God. Didn't we know better than to get in bed with this total and complete moron? But we did anyway. Unbelievable. I mean, I grew up a Celtics fan. I was a huge Robert Parrish fan, Dennis Johnson. I mean, Reggie Lewis, rest in peace. D. Brown, Paul Pierce, my God, Kevin Garnett, Rajon Rondo, Glenn Big Baby Davis. I mean, the list of black players that I was a huge fan of goes on and on, not to mention across my entire sports fandom. I mean, my God, Ricky Henderson is one of the greats of all time. I loved Ricky Henderson. This guy, each and every day now, is showing us how ignorant he is. How big of a moron he is. And he attaches everything to race. Kind of makes you wonder who the real racist is in all of this. Again, the guy that's blatantly admitted he hated white people at one time. Wow. 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 I woke up to this and was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll do a video on this no good some bit. Sure will. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And more and more people are seeing through LeBron now. More and more people have taken notice and are starting to realize exactly how ignorant this guy is. 
He's not very smart. For a billionaire, he's a massive moron. He's a massive moron surrounded by a bunch of yes men. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. LeBron making massively ignorant comments once again. LaChina James. LeBron James. LaWoke James. LeBronda James. LaBoston James. I said it. Hell, you own a piece of it. Crazy as hell. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.